Hello students, let us continue with the chemical properties of phenols. The first set of reactions are reactions due to phenolic hydroxy group that is hydroxy group bonded to the unsaturated carbon or the aromatic ring. Here we will be discussing about the acidity of phenols. Now phenols are weaker acids. They evolve hydrogen on reacting with active metals like sodium or even potassium. If you look to the reaction equation there, phenol it reacts with sodium metal to form sodium phenate Na replaces H plus so that you will end up with sodium phenate or sodium phenoxide C6H5O minus Na plus and there is evolution of hydrogen H2. Also phenols react with strong bases or alkalis like sodium hydroxide NaOH to give sodium phenate and water. If you take another test that is blue litmus paper test phenols turn blue litmus paper red and it is characteristic property of acids. The hydroxy group in phenol which is directly attached to an sp2 hybridized carbon atom of the aromatic ring. It acts as an electron withdrawing group and the lone pair of electrons on oxygen if you look to the resonance structure here of phenol the lone pair of electrons on oxygen are in conjugation with the pi electrons of the aromatic ring. They participate in giving the following resonance structures. So Roman 1, Roman 2, Roman 3, Roman 4, Roman 5 are nothing but the different resonance or canonical structures of phenol. Here in the resonance structures of phenol there is a positive charge on oxygen which is electronegative in nature. Therefore, it will pull the electron pair of the OH bond towards itself. This weakens the OH bond and facilitates the release of proton H+. Once the H+, is eliminated as proton, what remains is C6H5O- which is called as phenoxide ion. Now, let us look to the structures of phenoxide ion resonance structures. C6H5O minus. So if you look to the different structures there, the negative charge is effectively dispersed in the phenoxide ion. In phenoxide ion, the negative charge is spread throughout the aromatic ring, thereby, delocalization of negative charge makes it more stable, and hence ionization of phenol takes place, forming phenol and liberating H plus and if you compare the acidic strength of phenol with the alcohol ROH is alcohol it is found that phenol is a stronger acid than alcohol this is because in case of alcohol ROH is the general formula of an alcohol it should form RO minus alkoxide ion and H plus and if you compare Phenol which forms phenoxide ion and H plus. Phenoxide ion is resonance stabilized whereas alkoxide ion is not resonance stabilized. Therefore, alcohols are weaker or phenol is a stronger acid than alcohol. Now there are different substituents present electron withdrawing substituents and electron donating substituents. Electron donating substituents are the alkyl groups whereas electron withdrawing substituents are nitro group, cyano group, carboxylic acid group etc. So electron withdrawing groups increase the acidic strength of phenol whereas electron releasing groups decrease the acidic strength of phenol. So this is regarding the acidity of phenols in detail. Now the next part is to know about the second set of reactions which are nothing but ring substitution reactions.
this. Now, if you look to the ring substitution reactions, the first reaction is halogenation. In particular, we'll be discussing bromination reaction. Bromine is a gas. If you pass bromine into water, you will get bromine water. So, depending upon the type of bromine used, different substitution reactions are answered by phenol. Look to the first reaction there. Phenol reacts with bromine water. May it be bromine water or bromine gas, the formula remains the same, Br2. When phenol is treated with bromine water, you will get a white precipitate of 246 tribromophenol. So, second, fourth and sixth hydrogen atom are substituted by bromine. Thereby, 3HBr is eliminated as the byproduct. The main product formed is 246 tribromophenol. Now, instead, if you take bromine gas, phenol reacts, second reaction. Phenol reacts with the bromine gas in an inert solvent or non-polar solvent like carbon disulfide CS2 or CHCl3 chloroform at a temperature of around 273 Kelvin that is nothing but 0 degree Celsius. You will get a mixture of orthobromophenol and parabromophenol. So these are the two bromination reactions depending upon the type of bromine used. The second ring substitution reaction is nitration reaction. Once again, if you take dilute nitric acid, phenol reacts with dilute nitric acid at a temperature of around 298 Kelvin to give a mixture of ortho and para nitrophenols. That is, orthohydrogen and para hydrogen are substituted by nitro group. 2H2O is the byproduct form there. And if phenol is heated with nitrating mixture I hope you all remember what is nitrating mixture nitrating mixture is nothing but a mixture of concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid so phenol this is a very important reaction reacts with nitrating mixture on heating so that you will get the product as 246 trinitrophenol a very important product and elimination of three water molecules. This 246 trinitrophenol is called as picric acid. It is used as an explosive. Therefore, this reaction becomes very, very important. So, these are the two sets of nitration reactions answered by phenol. Now, the next reaction is a named reaction called as Kolbe's reaction. Yes, let us look to the details of Kolbe's reaction. Now, the first step is treating of phenol with the alkali sodium hydroxide. It will generate the phenoxide ion C6H5O- ion and this phenoxide ion in turn picks up the sodium Na to form sodium phenoxide. C6H5O minus Na plus. So that is the first reaction there. Phenol reacts with sodium hydroxide to form sodium phenate. Now, further, this sodium phenate or sodium phenoxide is heated with carbon dioxide CO2 at a temperature of around 413 Kelvin and 6 to 7 atmospheres pressure so that at the ortho position, the carboxylate group COO minus group is introduced. Just look there, COO minus group, which picks up Na from ONA to form sodium salicylate, sodium salt of an acid, salicylic acid, sodium salicylate is formed. So, sodium phenate picks up carbon dioxide to form sodium salicylate. This on simple acidification with dilute hydrochloric acid will give you the end product as that is Na is replaced by H so that you will get orthohydroxybenzoic acid which is having a popular common name that is salicylic acid. This is a very important reaction students. Kindly remember Kolbe's reaction. 
another important name reaction is rimer timon reaction in case of rimer timon reaction the first step is same so here phenol is converted into a phenolic aldehyde you will take a mixture of phenol treat it with chloroform and alkali sodium hydroxide and you will get the corresponding sodium salt of salicylic acid hyd which on acidification gives you salicylic acid hyd step wise i'll just show you the reaction equations phenol reacts with sodium hydroxide to give sodium phenate and water next sodium phenate is treated with chloroform chloroform splits as ccl2 ccl2 plus hcl which is nothing but ccl2 is called as dichlorocarbene that is introduced at the ortho position to form chcl2 that is nothing but a dihalide of sodium phenate further this dihalide of sodium phenate will react with already present excess alkali naoh and both the cl atoms are replaced by two oh groups so that you will get an unstable addition product so both the cl are replaced by oh further this addition product eliminates a water molecule which is unstable to form the aldehydic group at the ortho position cho simple acidification with hydrochloric acid will give you salicylaldehyde which is nothing but ortho hydroxy benzaldehyde this reaction is called as rimer timon reaction now after these reactions two simple reactions are to be known one is the reaction with zinc dust simple phenol on distillation with zinc dust that is zinc powder gives you the corresponding aromatic hydrocarbon that is benzene oxygen is picked up by zinc and you will get benzene and zinc oxide as the product zno so this is reaction with zinc dust and oxidation reaction the last reaction here for oxidation you will be taking chromic acid chromic acid is k2cro4 which is obtained by taking acidified potassium dichromate k2cr2o7 nh2so4 or acidified sodium dichromate na2cr2o7 nh2so4 reaction between the two will generate nascent oxygen oxygen indicated in the square brackets here is nothing but the nascent oxygen obtained by the reaction between na2cr2o7 and h2so4 that nascent oxygen adds on to the aromatic ring to form a conjugated diketone i hope you understand the meaning of the term conjugated alternate single and double bond if you look into the ring there you will get only two bonds multiple bonds and they are in conjugation with the carbon oxygen bond it is this conjugated diketone is called as benzoquinone so this is the oxidation reaction simple oxidation of phenol with chromic acid obtained by acidified sodium dichromate or potassium dichromate will give you a conjugated diketone called as benzoquinone so these are the different chemical properties or reaction equations of phenols all the reaction or reactions are equally important but in particular students kolbe's reaction rimer timon reaction are asked in the examination so try to revise this is the end of the chapter phenols we have completed alcohols and phenols next we shall continue with ethers in the next class thank you